hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to schedule a cron job to run a script on a linux based machine we are currently using uh, oracle linux server release 7.9 uh, it is something like fedora you can use any flavor of linux it does not really matter uh, the concept and the usage of the cron tab remains the same so what exactly is a cron tab you can think the cron tab is a file which has actions of the cron it is a configuration that specifies shell commands to run periodically on a given schedule like you can run a particular script at a particular time and it does not require your intervention it can be run on its own the system run it runs it for you so the time can also be specified when you want this job to be running so first uh, let's uh, install cron tab you can install the package by using the command yum install crony hyphen y on most of the servers the cron tab is already installed by default so just run the command and see if it is already installed if it is installed it is going to say the package is already installed into the latest version and if it not it installs the package so users can have their own individual cron tab files for example if you create a user say there is a user called as james he is going to have his own cron tab file and there is also a system wide cron tab file uh, which is the root only the people with authorization can edit it so we are currently with the root user so let's first understand how to write, write a cron tab file there will be a series of stars phi to be in specific where you need to enter the values for your cron to work the first star is the minute the second is the hour the third is the day of the month the fourth is the month itself and the fifth is the day of the week so this is how it works you can see the different parameters which we can use in order to attain the automation so right now we are going to create an entry in the cron tab file before that let's see the status of the daemon it is active and running so it is fine so we are going to create a cron tab entry i am going to give the command cron tab hyphen e this is the command to add a new entry into the cron tab file you are going to edit it so i want this particular cron tab job to run every minute so star means that it is going to run every minute and another star makes sure that it runs at every hour the next star is the day of the month the month itself and the day of the week these are the five stars so i want this to go to bin bash and then i want to execute the script just say temp test dot sh but this script is going to run at 1 minute for every hour that means at 1 1 2 1 3 1 in that way but if you want to run it every minute you need to give it star by 1 the first parameter should be star by 1 that makes it run for every minute so once this is done press escape wq to quit the editor this is just like the vim or the vi editor now you have edited into the cron tab hyphen e so now we need to make sure that there is something in test.sh let's go to we are already at temp so we are going to create a file test.sh and what this is going to do is it is going to create a file at temp just say it says worked it is going to create a file says worked escape wq as well so this is the script you want to give it execute permissions if you want to list the current active jobs for this particular cron tab just give the command cron tab hyphen l 
you can see that our entry is already in there you can see that the worked file is here so this has been automatically created because uh, of the script it is going to run every minute that is the reason we are going to see this worked over here now let's try a different use case now we are going to give a specific time instead of actually using multiple stars as parameters so the currently the time in the server is 53540 so let's edit the cron tab so I'm going to create a new entry over here so I want a particular script to be run at 37 minutes and the hours is 05 and the next thing is I want to run this on every day of the month every month and every day of the week so I'm going to create a new script just say temp test one dot sh is my new script name so let's go to uh, temp we are already temp let's create a new script test one dot sh here I am going to create uh, another file say touch slash temp slash this as well do not forget to give the execute permissions let's look at the date so we have given the date as um, 37 so, so let's increase it because it has already passed the time give the command cron tab by funny let's put it as 38 we still have uh, around 22 seconds let's just wait for it if this is going to work we are going to see a new file over here naming this as well we have four more seconds to see if it actually worked let's list we can see a new file created as this as well so this is how cron type actually works and there are two more things which I want to actually discuss over here so if there is a file called as cron.deny in your etc location if you put in a specific entry say James that particular user will not be access will not be given access to create a cron tab and if there is a file say cron dot allow that means you should be in this particular file to use cron so that is how cron works and uh, please make sure that you like subscribe and also share this video if you think it's helpful and let me know if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them if I know and uh, thanks for joining me see you later